What's up, party animals? My name is Kezi, and wow, I went to BLFC, and what a freaking... I don't, I don't even know what to say about this. BLFC was one of the craziest events I've been to in a long, long time. Um, like... So, uh, before, and I don't, I don't remember if I have mentioned it in a video, but I actually was kind of turning away from the fandom for a little bit. I thought, like, raves are, like, the coolest thing in the world, and, like, I loved being a fursuiter, but, like, I just, like, man, how could a furry con beat out a rave? Like, raves are just all about the love, all about the music, all about everything, and a furry con just, it's, I mean, it, 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 that's the thing. I thought it wasn't. I thought it was a completely different thing. No, it is the exact same. It is all about the love, all about the enjoyment, all about the sharing of art. And it's just a magical, magical place to be. <sighs> Where do I begin? Well, let's start with, I got a new job. Woohoo, go me. So I'm gonna be doing, um, the, 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 life's gonna get pretty hectic pretty soon, and I don't know what that's gonna mean for my channel. Um, I'm gonna still try to do uploads. Sorry about missing last week's, but I got a new job, and because of that, I figured, you know what? I'm gonna treat myself, I'm gonna drive down to Reno, and I'm gonna go to BLFC. I'm gonna do this, because I just, it felt in my heart and soul like something I needed to do. And I was right. BLFC was like therapy. Um, I, there was, I, I think I mentioned in a past video, there was a lot of drama over the past year. A lot of people hurt me and I hurt a lot of other people and it just wasn't great. But BLFC changed all of that. I reconciled with old friends. I made new friends. I made just, just, it was such a magical time. I couldn't have asked for a better experience. I even got an invitation to go to EDC for basically free, and I think BLFC was a better use of my time. It was just, it was the perfect event. And I didn't vlog it because I didn't want to. I was dead set on let's enjoy the experience. Screw trying to make a vlog. There's probably a million others out there. I want to be a dog and that's it. Now, it was really weird at first. When I walked in, I saw everyone I never wanted to see, and that was a bummer. However, as I kept staying, I said, screw it. I'm staying here. I'm going to make the best out of this con because it is worth it. And people, my friends, people on Twitter, people in my Discord, everyone supported me and pushed me to stay and enjoy the con. And I did, and I'm glad I did because I met so many amazing people, people that I never would have met at a rave, and it was just, it was a beautiful experience. And I can't get over just how amazing it was to be there. One of the things that I thought for a while was, um, you know, oh, you know, let's go, like, like so uh, Odd Ones Out made some comments, like, hey, you wanna go put on multi-thousand dollar animal costumes and walk around? It seems silly, but it's so wholesome. It's so fun. One of the things I remember fondly is people putting together, there, there was like a bunch of fursuit toys where it was just these big blocks that people would just pick up and stack around. They would take poses, pictures, and do things with them. Um, I was out of suit for a little while and I ended up building this like crazy arc thing and I got a ton of pictures of a ton of furries in it and it was amazing. You know, people were loving interact, like I just interacted with fursuiters as a non-fursuiter. One of the things that like I felt like, you know, at a rave, you know, being a fursuit is special. You are, wow, you're a dog or a d lion or a deer or whatever you are, you're unique, you're special. But at a furry con, everyone's a dog, everyone's a deer. Y you know, anybody who goes to a furry con, unless it's your first con, you've likely seen a lot of fursuits already. So one more isn't going to change your life. So at the con, I felt better not being in fursuit. Now, I loved running around as a dog. Don't get me wrong. I tried to fursuit as much as I could, like, 
withstand it because being inside versus outside, very different experiences. But I had a ton of fun just being me, not being like in the Kezi outfit, but just running around in my Kigu, enjoying the sights, the experiences, the sounds, the hugs, the everything. It was such a fun time to be there and just not be a dog. And I thought that was really special is because just like, you know, being Kezi, what's crazy, people recognized me. I got recognized. That's the thing that trips me out is like, I was just expecting, it's like, oh, I'm going to be a nobody. And for the most part, I was. But a few people recognized me and I was just like, what? How could you know who I am? I'm nobody. Except I'm not. I have like a video on TikTok that's gotten 30,000 views. And I'm just like, oh, you know me from a platform I never post on. Cool. <laughs> But it was just, it was just so fun. It was so wholesome. Everyone there was just having a wonderful time. And the activities that were there for the fursuiters, for the people, for everyone, it was so amazing. Um, I'll try to cut in just like a bit of footage of like things that happened. Um, I didn't capture a lot because I spent most of it not filming. And I felt like that was a really nice experience to just not worry about getting footage. And instead, standing here telling you, oh my god, BLFC was the best thing ever. Ah, I loved it so much. I want to go to more and more and more and more cons. I had the best experience on Saturday. Now, day two, this is when a funny meme was going around. Y'all might know where this is coming from. Uh, pizza and furries and privacy means a lot of toppings. And so this was one of the most surreal things ever. I won't talk about ha 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 pizza with a special sauce ha, 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 too much, but it was so surreal because it spread around the con like a freaking wildfire. Because it wasn't just, oh, ha ha ha, special sauce on a pizza. It was absolutely everywhere. Everyone knew about it. Everyone. And this was a small little thing. This wasn't like, you know, everyone at the con helped make this pizza. It was like 2019 furries and that was it but it blew up and it even made its way into a auction. Not the pizza itself, that would've been gross, but someone sold a pizza at the charity auction. They're like, hey, we have a pizza for you and you're allowed to buy it and do whatever you want in the privacy of your own hotel room. And I was just like, I can't believe this meme is happening in front of my face they're making jokes about something that's not quite appropriate. Yet they were leaning into it so hard. Um, one, so there was, the, there was a game of uh, like furry feud where it's like family feud, but furries. And one of the teams was named the Pizza Party. The Pizza Party. It was a running gag through the entire con. And it was just, it was the it was the surrealest thing ever how common it was to hear about pizza and then at closing ceremonies closing ceremonies was crazy let me throw up on the screen like they showed memes just at the end when people were walking out they're just like ha 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 get it it's a pizza with things on it ooh Oh my god, it was it was it was weird, let me tell you. But it was so wholesome. It was just and, and that's what I really like about the furry fandom is that we're all weird. We're all very, very weird. But it ends up being it, it brings people together. The weirdness is core, is key to the being uh, to the fandom. And it's just oh, it's just so great to be part of that. I felt like I was part of something bigger. And I, it's just, oh. this, this con reignited my passion for the furry fandom tenfold. I am, I am so down being a furry because you look online and you see all the drama, you see all the infighting, you see all the stress, the anxiety, the bad things, the worst things. And you're just like, man, why do I even bother? But then you go to a con, 
You meet people that are like-minded. You see people doing things that inspire you to be better. I watched Run Definitely Run and all of Barry Talks and just the passion, the real raw passion. They might be dressed as a giant dog, but the soul is there. And it's just, it is a magical thing to be a part of. And I just, I can't wait to do more. I can't wait to just do so much more. I ended up meeting up with Fluke Husky. Um, remember that? He knows who I exist. Wow. And he, he, so I was right before the rave and he's like, oh my God, Kezi, you should be up there being the DJ. What are you doing down here? And I'm just like, bro, that's an honor to hear from you. And you know, I want to do that. That is actively a dream of mine, is to be a furry con DJ and play music for the furries. Because just being at the dances was so special. I cannot describe to you how together I felt, how involved I felt, because everyone was there, everyone was having a good time. One of the coolest things about the uh, furcon dances they have a stage where you can look out into the audience and just do your little fursuit dancing. It's amazing. You know, they, they, they really, really, really push the, we're all a family here. No one is better than anyone else. And it just, it's so special because, you know, I go to a rave, you know, you're a you're hundred feet at least away from the DJ there. But at BLFC, I could give paw fives to uh, the DJ. I mean, I don't want to distract them, that's rude. But, you know, I can get up that close and, and talk to them and meet them and give them hugs because no one is, no one is so much more important that they won't stop and give you a hug. You know, I, I saw Majira, I saw Majira, and I gave him a hug, and it was just, the fact that I look up to this guy, and he's just like, you know what, I'll stop and give you a quick hug, because that's what, that's the magic of the furries, is we're all a big family, and it's just, it's so, it's so amazing how beautiful it is to be at this event, at, at this kind of thing. How beautiful it is to be in the fandom. You know, I think after this past year, it's been rough. And I feel like a lot of people realize that, hey, online, furries are dramatic. And it's just, it's nice to see the drama melt away. Everyone gets together and they just have a good time. It was beautiful being treated like I belong there, like I'm supposed to be there, like people want me there, was amazing. You know, for a while, I was starting to feel like I just wasn't meant to be in the fandom anymore. And I didn't know what I was doing, and I felt lost, and I felt confused. And going to this changed that. I feel like I'm part of something again. I feel like a dog. I feel amazing and I don't know what to say because it's just, it's so special. And anyone who gets the opportunity, you know, from going to a fur meet to going to a big con like BLFC, I recommend it. I recommend going out there and meeting people because it is just the most magical time you could ever hope for. Um, my camera battery is about to die, so I guess that's gonna be it. Thanks so much for watching. Bye-bye.